Pac-Man month continues with Galaga, as seen here in Pac-Man and Galaga Dimensions for the Nintendo 3DS, a surprisingly incredible collection of Pac-Man and Galaga games. This one has a whole bunch of them, not your typical Namco museum. Oh no, we have Pac-Man and friends in three dimensions of Nintendo 3DS. The star of this collection is actually not Pac-Man for once. It's Galaga. Because Galaga Legions is one of the best reimagined Namco classics that they've ever created. And I didn't realize it was on the 3DS until my friend Chris from Jersey City, New Jersey, sent this to the show. New Jersey! Just look at those menus. Let's start off here with Pac-Man. After all, this is Pac-Man month. And how does Pac-Man work in 3D? Actually, not too bad because they use it sparingly. It's a very simple effect. You can't tell here, obviously, but the side of the arcade cabinet is closer to your eyes than the screen, giving a sense of depth. Now, it's kind of cool for a few minutes, but it's always easier to just turn off the 3D effect. Let's be honest, it gets old quickly. But not Pac-Man. Pac-Man has been cool for well over 30 years. And I like their presentation of the game here. It's simple, it gives the appearance in 2D or 3D that you're playing Pac-Man. The weak part is the controls, because there's, it, you know, what the 3DS always needed was a giant Pac-Man joystick. Nintendo would have actually sold a few of these had they included a giant four-way Pac-Man joystick. Which, of course, is incredible sarcasm, although personally I would like that. Anyway, let's move on to Pac-Man Championship Edition, which also has a, uh, well, less subtle 3D effect since the game is kind of crazy to begin with. The 3D just gives a bit of depth to the outside of this screen. You don't really need it, but I like Pac-Man Championship Edition a lot. I just reviewed Pac-Man Championship Edition 2. The first game is, as, as crazy as it is, far more simple and straightforward than the second one. The second one is nuts. What you do in Pac-Man Championship Edition is basically try to score as many points as quickly as possible before the timer runs out. Like that you can chain the power pellets together for some insane points and like Pac-Man Championship Edition 2 if you don't get killed the points start to really add up so try not to run into the ghosts although that gets tricky because the game starts to run at light speed this is very very fast and while the 3DS d-pad is not a bad d-pad it's not great either it's okay The thumbstick wasn't nearly responsive enough to keep up with the insane speed when you start to get deep into Pac-Man Championship Edition, but the game is still good and worth picking up in this collection. Now let's talk about Pac-Man Tilt. Which uses the tilt feature in the 3DS. Is it good? Well, you know. Kind of feels like an afterthought. Like, hey, let's put a game in here that uses the tilt features. Like, and you can barely make out the 3D because you're tilting the 3DS everywhere. It's it's not that great, but something interesting if you like Pac-Man and those tilt and move kind of games. It's it's sort of like uh, what was that? Y Yoshi's Universal Gravitation or something? Not not quite as good. However, Galaga Legions, on the other hand, is freaking remarkable. There's a lot going on in this game. And if you like Galaga or spaceship shooters, give it some time. Now, they also shoved another Galaga game in here using the 3D effect and the motion controls. 
called Galaga 3D Impact, which is like a shooter on rails. It's it's all right. Worth checking out if you buy this collection for the other games, but probably not worth going after on its own. Back to Galaga Dimensions, which is where I've been spending most of my time. I played this game years ago and, and liked it. Progressing to the next area Maybe I just forgot about it or killed all those brain cells. I don't know, but revisiting Galaga Dimensions has been wonderful. Like the other games in this collection, the 3D is, is kind of neat, but doesn't add a whole lot. Now, what you do in Galaga Dimensions is desperately attempt to stay alive. It's a very difficult game. You shoot enemies, and then you can place your remote cannons around the screen two at a time to do some additional damage. Let's go back to Pac-Man Championship Edition here. As you can see, this is a nice addition to your 3DS library. Like most of the non-Nintendo brand 3DS games, it's not that expensive to collect and it looks really nice. Also, you can play these games on the go wherever you are, so that's a good feature. You don't need the 3D to enjoy them. Thank you for watching. Thank you for celebrating Pac-Man Month in honor of my Pac-Man Collector's Guide, a definitive review on Amazon. I'm contemplating the next one. I'm thinking about Frogger, actually. Who doesn't love Frogger? Frogger's awesome. Classic Game Room has been brought to you by Ultramassive Video Game Console Guide, Retro Mega Treks, How to Make a Video Game Review Show That Doesn't Suck, Ethel the Cyborg Ninja, Jesus the Coked Up Chicken, Pac-Man Collector's Guide, a Definitive Review, and Ultramassive, Volume 2, now on Amazon. Welcome to the Patreon Lord Carnage Club being shouted from a Turbo Volcano! Michael and Ariana Nelson, Ian Shore, Stephen Chucknick, Al Stever, Rick DeBarros, Jason Goy, Andy Schleiss, Sergio Matthias Hergert, Philip Straubenmuller, Jack Stavris, Ohad Kane, Simon Allen, and Sean Zoltek.